So as some of you know, I'm creating the next kit bashing set, but this time I'm pre-texturing everything as I go, which allows me to create more complex parts and everything was already designed. But we're here to talk about baking textures. At the moment, this piece over here, we can see have a quite a few textures. So I'm gonna quickly showcase a new add-on called Easy Bake, where I'm gonna compress everything into one texture. So looking at this piece, we can see that we've got multiple materials in and we wanna compress it into one texture set and that's just gonna improve render times and so on and so forth. Also exporting to Unity, Unreal Engine, Omniverse just makes life easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a brand new UV map and this will be my baked map. So we'll rename that one to baked. Let's bring up the UV editor and we can see what the UV map currently looks like. Let's make sure we've got the baked one selected now. I'm gonna select all U, Smart UV Project, oakly dookly. Now we can see what that looks like. There's lots of gaps in there, but I normally use UV Pack Master 3 just to pack it, just to optimize the UV space. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, if you're not sure what UV map you're looking at, up here at the very top of the UV map screen, it'll tell you which one. If we wanna swap, we can click up here, UV map. Now, when we're baking, make sure that the original UV map is selected. So if we come back into layout, we can see that it looks nice. If we click on the camera down here, we can see it looks rubbish. So it's gonna be wrong. Make sure you have the correct UV map selected before you bake. From here, back into materials, down the bottom here is where Easy Bake will be enabled. Let's give it a name, engine one. Let's give it a UV map that we're baking to, and we're baking to baked. 2048 by 2048, that sounds good. The file path, where are we saving it? I'm gonna save it right there, Sunshine. Now all the various maps that we want, diffuse, metallic, specularity, specularity roughness, uh, normal, and ambient occlusion. And then I'm just gonna press bake and let it bake all the textures out. So that's all baked. Now let's go shift D to duplicate, just move it over a little bit. Um, we're gonna get rid of all the materials now. And then I'm gonna get rid of the original UV map. Let's get rid of that one. And now we're working with the baked map. So into shading, new material. I've got Node Wrangler enabled, Control Shift T. Let's select all our maps. Awesome. We're going to add in a color mix color. And we're gonna dump that one into there. We're gonna make sure we multiply this color. And uh, there we have it. Let's go into rendered mode. Let's have a look what the difference is. Why is that not yellow? Oh, Marco, you did it again, didn't you? So if we go into face orientation, we can see the faces are orientated the wrong way. Don't be like Marco. We can also see that this isn't yellow, but rather black and a few weird colors. If we go into the main mesh, tab into edit mode, I'm gonna press M uh, to merge by distance. Hmm, 4,475 vertices removed. Now we can see that a lot of the mesh has been cleaned up. However, there are still a few issues, especially with this piece. And if we actually go in and have a look at this dumpster fire, they are overlapping. Well done, Marco, good job. You should be very proud of yourself.